What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Antonio Tarver. Get this. Antonio Tarver states that if Fury beats Usyk, he got no reason to fight AJ. <laughs> and this is what he elaborated on. He said, I think if Fury beats Usyk, he don't got no reason to fight AJ. He says, there's no need. Okay. All right. And let me counter punch. Short sweep. That's where I totally disagree with Antonio Tarver. Because Antonio Tarver is a triangle theorist. Okay. He believes if A beats B and B beats C, okay, A does not have to beat C because A has already beat B. And that's not how it works in boxing. Triangle theories do not work in boxing. And there's been, a, there's been enough cases to make people understand that just because you beat one guy doesn't mean you will beat the other guy based on what someone else has done. That makes no sense anyway. Because maybe B has something that C doesn't have, or maybe C has something that B doesn't have, better yet. You know? So everyone has an equation. Everyone has a foil. Everyone has a style. Everyone has a puzzle piece that fits only certain pieces to someone else as far as boxing goes. See, that's that easy way of trying to eliminate certain competitions. And actually and honestly, that's what's killing the sport. The only reason that you can say, well, I beat this guy and then that guy beat the other guy. Well, you have a win on the guy that's constantly winning, but you have a win over him. Like, for example, Floyd, oh, Money Mayweather. That's just like him saying, oh, I beat Canelo Alvarez, so there's never any reason to ever fight Edis Landi Lada because Canelo has beat Lada. You know, and that's what people do. They eliminate the whole idea of a fighter being a threat based on who he's fought and who he's beat. Well, who has he fought and who has he beat? Okay, for resume purposes, sure, but you have to fight everyone. Okay, if that was the case, going by the logic of Antonio Tarver, and he should know better, he should know better. That's that w There will be no reason, and there, there had to be no reason for Muhammad Ali to ever fight George Foreman, ever. Because not only did George Foreman beat Ken Norton, he also beat and brutalized Joe Frazier. Okay, and both of those guys gave Muhammad Ali two losses. Okay, and that's what's happening. Boxing wasn't like it is today. Guys like Antonio Tarver, and I got mad respect for Tarver, don't get me wrong, but that ideology has to be eliminated. That, ideolo that ideology of, hey, well, A is the man because A beat B. Okay, you know, so why would A ever fight C, D, E, F, or G? You know, <laughs> that's the problem. And we're getting snatched and stolen away from fights because people have that same mindset. You know, Floyd adopted it. You know, so Floyd's thinking, well, I should never fight that guy because that guy beat. This is the problem, though. This is the real problem. If A, which is the fighter that beat B, okay, they don't want to take that risk in fighting someone else, giving them another challenge because deep down inside, they know that that's not true. That ideology does not work for everybody, and it doesn't work. It's 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 who's better on the night. It's how whose style will, will prevail. You know how will his style match up with the other fighter's style from uh, the fighter A fighting fighter D. Forget what B and C did. You're get you're fighting D now. You're not fighting B or C. You can't worry about what another fighter did to that fighter. You have to do that to that fighter. So back to AJ, that, that's exactly why he should fight AJ, to prove I beat everyone. I beat Deontay too many times. I beat Usyk. Now I want AJ. That's how you prove you're the king. Not saying, oh, I beat this guy that I just sit back and look and praise the guys that I beat and I beat only. That's what Tyson Fury's doing. 
Tyson Fury's going, oh, Deontay's the baddest man on the planet. He really can't do that because his best friend, you know, you know, popped his bubble. His bubble was burst simply because he thought, hey, uh, nobody else can beat Wilder but me. I know deep down inside, probably not even that deep. He's disappointed. Let me ask you this question, people. If Tyson Fury saw, found out that Deontay Wilder knocked out Joseph Parker, do you think he'll be surprised or happy? I think he would appear sympathetic towards Joseph Parker, but I think deep down inside he would be happy. You know, because it's nothing like holding your own and it's nothing like you, only you doing something. Okay, records being broken. You know, guys have have came out like Bernard the Executioner, the Alien Hopkins. At least he was real enough to say, you know what? Listen, I'm biased because I don't want to see Gennady Golovkin beat my record. Therefore, I want Canelo Alvarez to beat him because I don't want him beating my record. That's my record. I'm proud of that record. Okay, achievements come with pride. Okay. And that's what Tyson Fury had when he was the only one that beat Deontay Wilder. That's why he fought him so many times. But the same for Wilder with Luis Ortiz until Andy Ruiz did it. If you, can you see the potential? you see the trend? See, Deontay Wilder, he always said, oh, man, Ortiz, y'all need to fight his old ass then. Nobody better than everybody running from that man. Well, you know, uh, when Andy fought him, yes, he was older. But he is no longer the guy or the only guy that beat or has that win, that black cloud over Luis King Kong Ortiz. Okay? There you go. In a nutshell. You know, and based on his own career, and let me end you with this just to shut it down for Antonio Tarver. If Antonio Tarver thought that, he should never have wanted to fight Roy Jones in the first place to get beaten by him once and defeating him twice. Why do I say that? It's because, okay, Roy Jones Jr. beat Bernard Hopkins. Bernard Hopkins beat Antonio Tarver. Do you see what I'm saying? So, yes, they beat Roy later on when Roy was diminished. He wasn't that same guy because he went all the way to heavyweight, then came down and stripped all that muscle and everything else. But according to his own logic, well, man, Roy, I ain't fighting Roy. Because Roy already beat the guy that beat me. See, a lot of things don't make sense with people. And when they use it to their own careers, especially boxers slash analyzers slash coaches slash know everythings, these guys don't really uh, put that same energy or that same equation onto their own careers and in their own, li in their own life. Okay? Because Antonio Tarver shouldn't be able to fight Roy Jones Jr., now, I know that was a time frame. Roy Jones beat Bernard Hopkins and gave him his second loss of his career because Bernard Hopkins got beat his very first professional fight. I know my shit. But, okay, Roy beat him. Okay, the prime Roy, the Roy Jones beat him. Okay, and then Roy Jones then went all the way to heavyweight. He got cheated once cheated out of the, out of the feet, you know, that his, his loss was a disqualification, you know, Mr. Griffith, Montel Griffith. Okay. And he came out, knocked Griffith back out. But the whole point is you're fighting Bernard Hopkins and see people assumed he would beat Hopkins based on what Hopkins has been through. That proves my point. You can't do that. Bernard Hopkins beat him from pillar to post. He beat Antonio Tarver like Kalzaki beat Jeff Lacey. Ouch. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Antonio Tarver stating that if Tyson Fury beats Alexander Usyk, he has no reason to take on AJ. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.